welcome to my uh, live reaction to Fairy Tale 494. I know it's been out a couple days already, but um, I've been pretty busy the last couple days with work and a play I'm in. But that's over, so here I am. It's late at night, but I'm going to keep it down a little bit because people are trying to sleep. So turn that volume up and let's uh, get started. <sighs> Chapter 494 The Hill Extending Towards Tomorrow. Here we got some Zeref looking badass. Lox is punching something. Here we go. Mavis and Zeref, memories of their deep love and a tragic history in which they came to hate one another. Little time remains till everything between them is settled. Okay. So I know that um like yesterday there was some of that important announcement coming July twenty fourth or something. So that, that really does mean the manga's ending, like I've heard rumored. But I don't know. Find out. I swear that I think there's a Zero fan at least my 490 video. So that's some uh, repeated art. It's been just about a hundred years since we last met like this. Ninety-five years, to be more precise. Ooh, Mavis. I can still feel your voice, even your very being, that entire time. In order to defeat Zareth, once and for all, I have one final plan in place. The first condition for that plan was my body. I needed my true body no matter what. And the other condition, although it's plausible in theory, will prove rather difficult. And what just happened? Her color is A lot more grays of the black and white. My body is... is she, oh, she's frozen. Okay. She's just... A your Majesty, although I do, do sympathize your relationship with that girl, she is the embodiment of Fairy Heart itself. If, by chance, she were, to, she were to turn that magic power against us. Mavis understands better than anyone that Fairy Heart is a spell which absolutely mustn't be used under any circumstances. Even if it was for the sake of killing me, she wouldn't dare activate it. What? I thought their whole plan was to use Fairy Heart. Do we do we know what a fairy heart is anyway? Anyway? Or is it still like a mystery? But your majesty. Mavis was trapped inside a crystal for an eternity, unable to move a single muscle in her body. Stealing her freedom once again after she had finally been freed it pains my heart. And that it shall be done. And now she's back. What is this? Like is that a dog collar? I shall refrain from binding your body. Thus, I have instead taken the liberty of finding your mind. Is that going to keep, um, Zero around? I think it might. Because, like, Zero go away once she remembers that Zero exists. But if she doesn't have any thoughts, then... Well, that's a workaround. What? What's happening? My very thoughts are being snatched away? No, I must retain my composure. I suppose I must settle for this. You always have been overly prone to worry, having you, Invel. Given my position as the emissary of Alvarez, I see it as a completely rational decision. Ah, uh, I can't form one rational thought. Just what sort of magic is this? Later, could you please follow me? My body is moving on its own. Behold. What the? What the? This can't be. Oh, shit. Oh, and Zero's calling them right into the heart of that mess. God damn. God damn. <laughs> Currently making their way here in order to take back you and the guilt. I do wonder, would they be able to break through our defenses? I cannot wait to find out. Not their- what? I thought they were dead. Not a chance in hell. Not as long as Azir the Great is here, standing in their way. That's so big shot, I seem to recall you losing quite pathetically. Look who's talking, asshole. That fluke ain't gonna happen again. Naturally. How are they back at full str- They almost look like they're at full strength. I know a commenter on the last video mentioned, um, maybe Raki to give them power back, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Randy. Mary, I heard you were captured. They didn't do anything horrible to you, did they? No. 
Aw, I thought they hated that. I thought they still hated each other. I wouldn't say any of those awful and cruel things to you ever again. I'm gonna pay those fiends back tenfold for laying their hands on you. Maybe it was Rekki, because Rekki's better than them now. Friendship is one of the world's greatest beauties, wouldn't you say? August. Or is that Rekki saying August, or is it just like everyone's name kept popping up? Lord August was quite fun in giving me dirty looks. Can you blame him? You always fail to attend our meetings, so it shouldn't come as some big shock. That is the mage called the strongest of them all, August. Not to mention, Rakid Dragneel. I'm still guessing the third cousin's twice removed, so that last week, watch it be true. No, that's not gonna be true. That person's magic. What on earth planet? Just what nature of magic is that? Rakid is my pr proverbial secret weapon, you see. He has the potential to defeat even Athnologia, given his vast capability. Yeah, he's he's manufactured. You can I can tell. Nine hearts back. Conjuring three spriggin' twelve members worth of Astoria certainly takes its toll on me, I must admit. Oh, that's how they're back. Nine heart. He survived. Okay. Let's see. So I have to return from the depths of the underworld. I'm in, and Wallet is back. Well, well, we can look at this. The twelve are finally all gathered together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, it's God Serena. He's alive. God Serena, the eight dragons, has been resurrected. I'd like to remind you three that you're already long dead. I'd advise you to protect me diligently, lest you disappear from the living realm permanently. Just leave it to godly me. Okay, so that changes a lot, actually. <clears throat> so is Nineheart going to be like keys, and they're not, or like how they couldn't, how um, instead of killing Silver during Tartarus, they should take out uh, keys, or what? I don't know. <sighs> One million soldiers. The twelve are reunited. Truly a magnificent sight to behold. I lean. What? This obscene magic power. As for the ma matter of your activation in Universe 1, I won't cry. In fact, you've done well. You have my praise. Oh my. And here I was prepared for at least a light spanking or something along those lines. I'm a little disappointed. Thought Eileen. What I would have you use for me now is an isolation enchantment. Eileen, Belsiria, and Yada. Your wish is my command, so I simply have to remove Fairy Heart from, ins from that inside that cute little girl, is that right? What? She cannot possibly do such a... As luck would have it, Eileen is prodigious when it comes to attaching and removing magic from objects. No way. This will likely take some time, but yes, you can leave the task in my capable hands. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is absolutely not good. This cannot be. I've now assembled a perfect, impenetrable, bu yeah, impenetrable battle formation. Do you still dare to come here, fairy tale? I shall not let you see tomorrow. I think I found my screen cap. Oh, shit's about to get real. Is that all 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that's all 12. Oh, God. A guild, once surrounded by a warm, lively town, is now warped beyond belief. It looks so cold and isolated. And all the gangs sleeping before the final battle. Sleep well for now, dear friends. This may well be the last. So you must rest while you. Well, they're technically not seeing it because it's like they're asleep. But whatever, I won't ruin your sentimental moment, Urza, even though I already did. So you must rest while you still can. Last dawn, not if I have anything to say about it. We're gonna bust in there and take our guild back. We'll see in you tomorrow, no matter what. Their bonds woven from the unbreakable threads of courage are their final ace in the hole to win back their future. If you're continuing chapter 495, I'm hungry as hell. That's certainly a chapter title. Um, and then we just got fan art for the rest of the chapter. Huh?
Wow. Uh, so it looks like all of our efforts for the past, um, what, 50 chapters this arc's been going on? 50, 60? Have been absolutely for naught, because everyone is back from the dead. <laughs> um, so this is fucking crazy. These, ugh, Urza and Team Natsu and Juvia alone against all of Alvarez. Oh my god. Theri or, I mean, Theriko's coming too, sure, but they they don't stand a s- If this was any other series, I'd say they don't stand a snowball's chance in hell. But... Oh, Christ. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was, honestly, an incredible chapter. Uh, one of the best we've had in a while, because, I mean, honestly, I remember uh, being really upset when we found out Gaijo came back to life. But finding out that Broadman lived too, I don't really, doesn't bother me as much. It's something I wanted to touch on earlier while I was reading the chapter, but, because, like, he didn't, I mean, if he had died, they would have been, like, one of the best characters in the series, but just the worthless sacrifice, and that's not good in the slightest. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad Broadman's back, and I'm glad Gaijo's back now, too. Uh, this was honestly an incredible chapter, so it looks like we got some final battle incoming. Uh, I think I said that last week, and that's... Oh, looks like I'm proven right this time, so... Um, but anyway, that's all I really have for this week's chapter, so... Uh, as always, keep your ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.